Welcome back. I already had the 4320 out today because I had to weld on the brush hog, so I brought it down to the shop. So I thought it'd be a good time to do a video I've been wanting to do about uh, the 8-speed John Deere Synchro Range. If you are a guy that, or gal that grew up on a green farm, this is nothing to you. This is like riding a bike. If you didn't, this can be kind of confusing, but realistically, it's real simple. Let me see if I can simplify it for you some. So, if you can't read my pattern, it goes park, first, third, you know, two, five, four, seven, six, eight. But what messes most people up is that the numbers are out of the sequence. It doesn't go one, two, three, four, five, six. What John Deere did here is they took two shifters and made them into one. So I just pulled it out of park. Now, me pulling it to this position, that's the first shift, okay? This collar is your first shifter. This collar down in here is your second shifter. So, I pulled it down to first position, went over, and pushed that up in first. Pulled it down to third, reverse. It's two shifters acting as one, and that's what messes most people up. If you pull down here, I just made a shift. Now I made another shift. If I pull down here, that's another shift. Anytime I move this first collar, that's shifting the primary. There's the secondary. So... What messes most people up, like I said, is the number sequence. One, three, two, five, four, seven. That can be very confusing. So, for you international people that like to be one through four high and low, I made you guys a new shift template. You won't know which gear is higher than the other, but at least you'll be able to figure it out. So, we come out of park. First gear low, first gear high, and first reverse. We come out of into second gear low and high, third gear low and high, and fir fourth gear low and high. That's all it is. It's a it's a four speed transmission with a two speed. That's all that international is. The international has it in two separate shifters. Look at these side by side. There's really not a whole lot of difference. I've just numbered them where you can understand. But it's just a four speed with a two speed. Nothing special about it. Um, so let's take that away. On a secro range, this toe setting right here, people think that that's where you tow. Oh, I'm I'm supposed to tow a trailer, so I better put it in seventh gear. No, that's over here. When this shifter is lined up with the word tow, your transmission and rear end will be disengaged. If this tractor becomes broke down, um, needs to be towed in. This is what you want to put it in so you don't burn your transmission up. Because otherwise, your shaft would be spinning, the rear end would be spinning the shaft without it lubricating. And you don't have to pull it very far to tear it up. So, if you have to pull these tractors very much distance, and I mean 100 feet, whatever, put it in tow. Uh, the power shifts, they have that as well, but they have it in the floor. I'll have to show you on another video on the 3020 but uh, the power shift transmission also has a disconnect to disconnect the rear end it's in the floor uh, by the seat base but with a eight speed secro range it's right here put it in tow but like i said not much to it uh john deere 20 series and 10 series uh move one lever one lever and you're moving. You pull it out of park right there, 
first, third, second, fifth, fourth, seventh, and sixth, and eighth. But let's talk for a minute. Why is it first, third, second, fifth, fourth? I mean, why not you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? I mean, that'd make too much sense, right? Here's the reason. Say you're doing heavy work, uh, pulling a dirt pan or something slow, something slow work. You're blading out the barn, let's just say. Okay, so you're going to be in third gear. That's a good gear for that. Say you hit a very tedious spot where you want to go slow or you need the extra power. One push, you're in first gear. Okay, let's say you're going along and you go to back up. You're going to tell me back in the 60s they had a reverser? One move and you're in reverse. You know, that's a lot easier than some of these other tractors where you're going around in 17 different ways to find reverse. If you're doing slow work, third and reverse at the same speed. Pretty close. So there you are. Now, you're doing field work. Fifth gear, that's your gear. That's your five and a half, six mile an hour gear. That's what you mow, rake, bale. Well, I don't bale in fifth gear. Some people do. Uh, but right here, look what you've got. You go to you go to uh, your brush hogging. You want to back up in a corner. One move, you're in reverse. You're brush hogging, and you come up to a ditch. This happens a lot. You come up to a ditch, and uh, and you need to slow down one move there's there's a slower gear get through the ditch right back down into fifth third range i don't get as much use out of the third range uh doesn't have reverse on it for one and for two it's just it's not as it's too this is probably my least used range every once in a while i'll bail in fourth but Say you're going down a road that you know that you're not going to be in road gear. My driveway, for instance. I use seventh gear a lot in my driveway. I don't need road gear, and six is too slow, and seven is kind of the perfect gear for that. So I'll start off in fourth. Everybody knows it's not going to go in the perfect with the engine not running, but I'll go in fourth and then clutch down to seventh. Okay. And then you're getting out on the road. You got a heavy baler behind you. You start in six, and once you get moving, you clutch down to eighth. If you're over here in the, any of these positions over here, whether it be first and third, second, fifth, or any of the reverse positions, if you're over here on this bottom collar, it's synchronized, hence the name synchro range. So you can clutch any of these. Over here, this is the range selector. You need to be stopped over over here. You need to be... Am I going to say it won't shift rolling? No, it will. But it's not good on it. So, over here, pick your range, stopped. But you can pick your fourth range, put it in six, get going down the road, clutch it to eighth, and you're fine. Uh, and to a lot of people, if you're... A John Deere nut grew up around these tractors. This is this is like walking to you. You you're like me. You spend enough hours on these things. So it's no big deal. But if you grew up with internationals, you know how many levers do you have to move to go through all the gears on an international? Well, so you got your range, your high low reverse range on an international. You got your one two three four, and then if you're fat like me, you got to use your foot. To take it out of park down by the floorboard. John Deere's moved all the shifting into one lever. And that's all it is. It's just, it, it scares a lot of people, but we're moving two collars. This is one shifter. That's one shifter. And when we move over here, that's another shifter. If you go look at the uh, 7520s, the big articulated tractor, they actually move these into two shifters. And a lot of people could probably understand those a little bit easier. But uh, been wanting to do this for a while. I don't know if I made any sense to anybody, helped anybody out on anything on these, but uh, that's how they work. It's just two shifters operated off one stick. 
So, comments, concerns, questions, hit me up. Uh, but if you if you don't mind, hit the like button and and punch that subscribe button. I wanted to add that if you've got a 10 series, a 4010, 3010, it will have reverse in the fourth and seventh gear range.